Hi everyone, Therese here, and I'm live today with another pendulum tip for you. And today, my assistant happens to be, I think, my favorite pendulum that I sell in my Blythe Starlight shop. It's called the Triple Healer Pendulum. Take a look at that. I hope you can see that. Okay, so this pendulum features rose quartz, amethyst, and clear quartz. And it's a nice big one. I love these big ones, especially if you're doing energy work on someone else. I don't know why, but a, the bigger pendulum just feels like it's, I don't know, something about the weight of these pendulums that really connect to the energetic field. Also, it just feels really good in your hand. Like it's got a nice, when it gets swinging, you're like, oh yeah, that feels so good. Anyway, so I have only a few of these left. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I can find the component or uh, the components rather, or my supplier has more of this piece because I really, really love this. Um, this pendulum and the crystals are just beautiful, beautiful quality. So it's called the Triple Healer Pendulum. And today in my pendulum tips for the week, I want to talk to you about emotion and your pendulum. So it's always easier, it seems, to get a reading or do a reading with a pendulum for someone else. And the reason why is because we tend to be more emotionally detached from whatever the information is. Either we're not emotionally attaching to the question or we don't have an emotional attachment to the answer, which means that we can ask and receive from higher parts of ourself. If you remember last week, I talked to you about the different parts of ourselves that can answer through our pendulum. And two of those areas are affected by emotion and that is the ego and the will. So when we get emotional around our questions or answers, we can activate those areas and they can start then answering for us. Now, sometimes we want to talk to those areas like I talked about last week. And if you're looking for that video, you can just go to my IGTV tab in my uh, profile and it's Everything Pendulums is the series and you can click on that and see that talk. Um, and it's, you know what, getting emotional is <laughs> it's really easy. Many times we're asking questions from our pendulum that we really want an answer to, that we really feel connected to emotionally. And sometimes when we get the answer from the pendulum, we can get emotional from that. For example, I'm kind of an excitable person by nature. So when I get a cool answer from my pendulum, I instantly am like, oh, that's so cool. And I get really pumped up and excited about it or I get like, whoa, I didn't see that coming. Um, and that's natural. So the best way to work with your pendulum, if you notice that you're either emotional to your question or emotional to your answers is just first to have awareness around that. It's okay that emotions come up, but you want to try to catch yourself and center yourself. If you find that you're too emotional to your question, maybe set that one aside for later and ask some questions that you don't feel as many emotions around at first so that you can establish a, a connection with your higher self or source if you want to go to the highest truth. And that way you can kind of get into the flow with your pendulum, feel a little bit more grounded and save the more emotional questions for the end. See if you can find that space between you and the question. I also find that if you get emotional from the answer you get, the best thing to do is to acknowledge that you're feeling the emotion and let yourself feel it fully. Like, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. Let me just take a moment. Okay. 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 And then, you know, you see yourself like allowing it to flow and then ebb away. I also like to make sure that after I've got the answer from my pendulum and I'm good with it, that I say thank you. So that might look like um, I'm asking a question. Um, am I going to enjoy from the highest truth? Am I going to enjoy my dinner? Yes or no, right? And this means yes. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, yay, the dinner's going to be delicious. 
All right, good. Thank you. That's what I do is I sort of close my hand around the pendulum and I say thank you. And that's just an acknowledgement to my energetic field that I have received the response and I'm good with it, right? I've closed the loop on that question. If we don't have a, a type of ritual for acknowledging closing of the question, the pendulum, uh, your energetic field, there might be confusion. It might still try to answer from the previous question. So it's really good to just clear it out after you get your answer, just to acknowledge the answer is received. I like to say thank you, close my hand around it, and that allows me to clear that question from my field and set myself up for the next question I have. So I hope you're enjoying these little pendulum tips. I hope it's helping you connect with your pendulum deeper. If you have questions that you have about pendulums, do me a favor and leave it in the comments. Let me know what questions do you have around using uh, a pendulum and I'd be so happy to answer it in my next Pendulums Live, which will be next week. So until then, until then, mwah.